Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, I'm sorry if I haven't posted in a while, but yeah, it's another video. So, today we are playing Stormworks Build and Rescue. Um, I have actually been playing this game like without recording like, for like weeks already. Actually, no, a month. Close to a month. And it's actually a really fun game. I've downloaded a lot of mods from the Steam Workshop. And... Yeah, so it's currently raining outside, I think. So, I'll just go to the settings. And by the way, if you notice anything, face cam, yeah. So, I just wanted to test this out, but yeah. If it doesn't work, the next video will just be voice. So, alright, rain is all cleaned up. I mean, should I spawn a tsunami and try to escape from it like I did last time? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll open the hangar doors. This is the multiplayer island base, by the way. Um, that's why it has such a big hangar for two people. They can both spawn jets. There's two workshop benches. So, yeah. Uh, one workshop bench is right there. One workshop bench is right there. There's two doors. And, yeah. So, uh, you, I'm recommending Stormworks Build and Rescue, guys, if you like simulator games or something like a simulator or you can literally fly helicopters be a coast guard drive bo drive boats drive cars even fly planes like what i'm about to show you right now i have a euro Typh euro fighter typhoon i have a lot of stuff honestly so yeah if you, as you can see there's even an amphibious vehicle that can go in the water it will float you can drive it around it's really cool and c-130 hercules that's cool uh so i'm thinking of what should i use you know what i'm gonna go for my favorite plane su-33 flanker all right so, Starbucks Build and Rescue is basically, you can also build your own creation. That's basically what it's meant to be, but some people, there's a Steam Workshop here, look. If you press Escape, there's going to be a Steam Workshop right here. And if you want, you can go to the Steam Workshop. I'm just going to fix the height on my chair right here. Alright, I think that's good. Yeah. Oh god, this feels scary. I haven't, I haven't gotten the max height. And... Yeah, basically, look, so inside this, inside the cockpit, there's a lot of stuff. You can fold down the air brake. These missiles actually do launch if, if you don't know Komodo Gaming. <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't know Komodo Gaming, uh, he has a friend called Frantic. They both played multiplayer and Stormworks. And they both use the flanker, actually. And Frantic shot down Komodo Gaming with one of the air-to-ground missiles, I think. So the air to grounds are on the wings. The air, the air to airs are these three great missiles. So yeah. So I need to hop into the jet. Um, hop to the jet. All right, here compact pilot seats here. So you can see on the side there's like controls and stuff. So press number six, it will close the canopy. Power is already on. So. Uh, might as well turn on that master arm and so with some jets you can select air to ground which is a to g or a to a which is air to air so yeah some actually have guns but it, it doesn't actually work it's basically just like a flashing light it, it looks cool though it lo really looks cool so i muted it because yeah i don't have a mic so uh might as well turn heater on because we're gonna go high uh, not any gear, not yet. Parking brake release, flight assist off. Alright, uh, I'll turn on the engines. Wait for them to work. Now, some jets, obviously, in real life, some jets don't have ejection seats. And they actually input as working ejection seats here with a parachute and stuff. And sometimes, if you look back in your seat, there's gonna be like a flare gun and a med kit. So, if, if you get sanded on an island, you can shoot a flare. It's, it works. Like, it's really bright, too. So, I think my engines are on. Yep, my engines are on. So, look. Uh, I'll hide the controls because I pretty much memorized all the controls. So, press 5. It will lower the air brake. And page up will 
increase the throttle but with the flanker that landing gear can you see that just like that stick the sick suspension works obviously but it's like beside it and it's so prone to just like i'm taxiing even when i taxi at like super slow speeds boom it just it just collapses the landing gear collapses and the nose it just hits the ground sometimes the rockets even activate and it blows up the jet so yeah so with some with some jets like the flanker and the su-35 which are definitely made by the same person most likely because the thrusters actually go up and can you see those two circles on the back of the thrusters those are drag parachutes if you don't know what drag parachutes are they base they're basically two parachutes that launch two, two or one two parachutes that launch on the back of the plane when they land if they're basically if they have too much speed and they land then they're most likely they're gonna overshoot the runway so the drag parachutes eject and oh god that was massive anyway i'm going straight oh shoot i'm coming the camera crap uh uh put this there i'm just changing where the camera is so you can see me better oh shoot i'm going straight up all right so that's better uh basically drag parachutes they open they they increase drag and they slow down the plane on the runway so yeah with flight assist off this thing's very maneuverable and also it's a flanker so why wouldn't it be uh there you go make a little bang all right so i'll turn master arm on and i'll select the missiles so master arm on i'll use the air to ground because i have mostly air to ground i'll shoot two so my weight will be equal because if you shoot one obviously one is going to be missing on the wing so the weight will kind of bang to the other side if you know what i mean so might as well shoot at my hanger might as well it's it's kind of hard to aim though with the with the Sarmerx jets by the way the reason there's scratches on the tail is if you didn't see when i took off i accidentally tail smacked because i was too lazy to taxi to the runway because the landing gear most likely will collapse and i'm not sure if the flanker is a naval plane but it says it's a naval plane and the wings fold the increase space in the in the aircraft carrier so press four i believe to shoot all right and fire oh there, there goes the rocket yeah for some reason they all pull up like even the air to airs so i need to go inverted and then the rocket will go down here i'll shoot the other one boom oh there there you go see they go straight to the water never mind yeah, so it's it's actually really hard to land in Sarmerx. I don't know why, or if it's just me. But here, you can press M to open the map. And yeah, the flank is actually pretty fast. Even when the map is like fully zoomed out. But should I activate afterburners? You know what? Afterburner toggle. So look at the thrusters. Can you see the like second thruster? That's the afterburner. The afterburners do actually increase your speed in this game. It's, it's really... Like it gets way faster so sorry if my like i'm covering the camera okay wait i'm gonna pause my game bailey if you don't know he's my dog he's literally just sleeping under my chair right now hey bailey what would you like to say for yourself <laughs> all right let's get back because i'm actually using my phone to record my face cam because why not all right i think that's good all right, let's get back to it. I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up. Okay, here. I'll try to make... Er, anyway, I'll just pull the drag parachute in the air. Why not? So, press number three to open the drag parachute. Boom. Those two parachutes open on the on the thrusters. Uh, I'll, I'll do the zero throttle thing. I'll tr I've been trying my best to do a Cobra and a flanker, even though only one jet can kind of do a Cobra. Kind of work like i was like this except i was like it was kind of working basically oh yeah so the drag i pull i pulled up the air brake so when i when i go for a nose dive the drag parachutes will hold it basically slowly let me do it and the air brake will also slow me down so it's gonna be easier for the parachutes so look oh shoot i yeah you shouldn't pull these in the air because the only way it automatically retracts when it's on the ground in Sarmerx, but it's, I'm not sure if that's how it is 
in real life, you know. So yeah, look. Uh, for some reason, with flight assist off, still um, it still pulls me up because with flight assist off, it pulls you up. It still pulls me up. That's why I'm like I'm I'm slowly like this, like it's slowly like that. So I do have the Huey, here yeah, the helicopter. Uh, I kind of want to fly it, but it's already been ten minutes for the video. Uh, so I guess we'll end it here. If you guys have enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment down below, like, what do you want me to fly, or anything related to all the games that I've shown on my channel. So, thank you.